स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज एन सी आर टी एक्सरसाइज प्रॉब्लम टू पॉइंट फिफ्टी एट फ्रॉम पेज नंबर सेवेंटी टू ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ एटम राइट सो लेट्स रीड दिस स्टेटमेंट सिमिलर टू इलेक्ट्रॉन डिफ्रेक्शन न्यूट्रॉन डिफ्रेक्शन माइक्रोस्कोप इज ऑल्सो यूज फॉर द डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल्स इफ द वेव लेंथ यूज हेयर इज एट हंड्रेड पीकोमीटर कैलकुलेट द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक विलोसिटी एसोसिएटेड विद द न्यूट्रॉन राइट सो हेयर इन दिस क्वेश्चन दे हैव गिवन यू two microscopes first one is electron diffraction microscope and the second one is neutron diffraction microscope both works for the determination of structure of molecules right for neutron diffraction microscope if the wavelength used here is 800 picometer now you have to find the velocity associated with the neutron right so in this question again we'll apply de broglie equation right so first of all we will write de broglie equation right so according to de broglie equation wavelength that means lambda equal to h by m v right now lambda is wavelength h is planck's constant and you have to remember this value that is 6.626 into 10 raised to power minus 34 joule second right now m is mass of neutron you are not supposed to take the mass of electron over here you should mention the mass of neutron right so mass of neutron is 1.675 into 10 raised to power minus 27 kg right and we have to find the value of velocity lambda they have given 800 picometer right this uh, mass of neutron is in kg but uh, planck's constant is in joule now to cut the units what i'll do i'll simply convert this joule in terms of kg now i know that 1 joule equal to 1 kg meter square second inverse square simply put the value so it will be 6.626 into 10 raised to power minus 34 joule will be kg meter square second inverse square into second i'll cancel one second with one second inverse this planck's constant is in meter square second inverse right so to cut the units again i'll convert this wavelength in meter so 1 picometer is equal to 10 raised to power minus 12 meter right in bracket you can write 1 picometer equal to 10 raised to power minus 12 meter right so simply put the values so lambda is 800 into 10 raised to power minus 12 meter equal to h planck's constant 6.626 into 10 raised to power minus 34 i have converted joule second in kg meter square second inverse right so i'll mention kg meter square second inverse over here divided by now this m mass of neutron 1.675 into 10 raised to power minus 27 kg velocity of this neutron we have to find so i'll mention v over here take this v on the other side of the equal to and 800 into 10 raised to power minus 12 meter in denominator so v equal to 6.626 into 10 raised to power minus 34 kg meter square second inverse divided by 1.675 into 10 raised to power minus 27 kg when i take this lambda on the other side of the equal to it will come in denominator right so into 800 into 10 raised to power minus 12 meter now i'll cancel this kg with this 1 meter with 1 meter over here right so v equal to first of all i'll compile all the powers so 6.626 into 10 raised to power minus 34 This 10 raised to power minus 27 is negative in denominator. When I'll take this power in numerator, it will change its sign. This 10 raised to power minus 12 will be written as 10 raised to power 12 over here divided by 1.675 into 800. Now unit I'm having meter per second only, right? This 1.675 into 800 will be 1340 right so 6.626 into 
10 raised to power minus 34 into 10 raised to power 27 into 10 raised to power 12 divided by 1.675 into 800 it will be 1340 now if you see this 1340 is bigger than 6.626 right to make the calculations easy i'll convert this value higher than 1340 for this i'll simply displace this decimal up to three digit right so if i am displacing decimal from left to right up to three digit power will be 10 raised to power minus 3 right so it will be 6626 into 10 raised to power minus 3 into 10 raised to power minus 34 into 10 raised to power 27 into 10 raised to power 12 divided by 1340 unit i am having meter per second when you will divide 6626 with 1340 your answer will be 4.944 these powers are in multiplication so you can simply add them 10 raised to power minus 3 minus 34 plus 27 plus 12 right meter per second over here so v equal to 4.944 into 10 raised to power minus 3 minus 34 it will be 10 raised to power minus 37 plus 27 plus 12 it will be 39 right so v equal to 4.944 into 10 raised to power minus 37 plus 39 it will be 10 raised to power 2 meter per second right so velocity of neutron whose wavelength is 800 picometer is 4.944 into 10 raised to power 2 meter per second.